Hello and uh, welcome to a new video. Um, uh, about four years or so ago I did a series of uh, tutorials on how to get started with Fantasy Grounds and uh, how to uh, cope with the UI and all sorts of different things. Um, and obviously that was for Fantasy Grounds Classic and the, the videos are now completely out of date so I thought uh, I would update them. Um, so you've installed Fantasy Grounds and you've started it up and this is your uh, start screen. Uh, and so we'll go over all the various bits of the start screen in this uh, first video. So the first thing you want to look at is the two little buttons up in the top left hand corner here. Uh, the first one, uh, if we click it, uh, brings up the, uh, uh, the console. Uh, and there's also a button here where you can uh, compile your logs should you ever require to uh, do so. Sometimes you might be asked by the developers if you've gotten a particular error to compile your logs. And this is one method by which you can do that. Um, uh, we can close that now. And the second button here is uh, the button which takes you to your Fantasy Grounds um, folder uh, where all your data is kept. Um, now. Uh, this is an important folder and it's kept uh, in a special place. It's in a different place from the installation folder um, and you may be required at some point in time to access this folder. Uh, so the easiest way to do it is to uh, click on this little button here. Uh, we can see that uh, this is actually what you will probably see because I'm on a different channel, but um, this is what you'll most likely see. Uh, you may or may not have all of these folders depending uh, on whether or not you have started any campaigns or whether uh, you've ever been on a test channel or whether you're a player or a DM, etc. So not all of these folders will necessarily appear uh, on your screen. But this is how you would access this folder. This is the easiest way of accessing uh, this folder. Uh, if we look now uh, and more in the center of the screen, up in the top left uh, here, we see that we are uh, connected to the lobby. Uh, obviously, if we're not connected to the lobby, it's going to say not connected. Um, down below that, we've got our username. This is important if you're going to be the uh, DM for a game because this is the name that your players will need to search for in the lobby if they're trying to find your game. Uh, over on the right hand side here, we have the version of uh, Fantasy Grounds. Now, I'm currently on the test channel, more on that later, but it tells me there that I've got an ultimate license. The version of Fantasy Grounds that I'm using is version 4.30 and it tells me the date that that uh, version uh, was released, 29th September. Uh, underneath that, uh, with the um, uh, down the left hand side here, um, we've got some buttons. Uh, the load campaign is where the Dungeon Master would load a previously uh, created campaign. Create campaign. Um, Quite obviously, is how you would start a new campaign. If you're a dungeon master, you would click on that button. More on that in another video. Join campaign is if you're a player, you're going to click on this button. And this is going to show you some history of campaigns that you've already joined uh, up here. And the uh, little uh, dot here tells you whether or not the uh, player or the, the DM is uh, online or not. Um, Underneath that, we've got a join cloud game um, and we've got a join by GM name. And if you're looking for your uh, GM, then this is where you would type in your GM's name and it would be exactly as it appears up in the top left here. So your GM would need to tell you what that name is and you just simply type that in here. Uh, you've also got a button here where you can search for uh, the uh, GM. Uh, if you don't know if, if, the, uh, if you're trying to find the gem, you can uh, use this to search and you can use this refresh button to uh, update these. Um, this uh, little icon here uh, shows that uh, the people that are online at the moment have got a version mismatch with my uh, version of Fantasy Ground. So if you see that um, I, next to your uh, DM's name, then you need to update your client because you don't have the correct uh, version. Um, I am getting all of this version mismatches because, again, I'm on the test channel, which we'll talk about later. Um, if you are going to be joining a LAN game, then uh, this is the uh, area down here. Joined by IP and port, you need to get the IP address from your uh, Dungeon Master 
port will always be 1802 but you'll need to get the IP address for your from your dungeon master they'll tell you that and you type that in exactly as they give it to you um, and then you would click the start button and you should join the game um, the credits is just simply a list of the Smiteworks employees um, then we've got the settings button which we'll talk about in a minute and then the button underneath here uh, if it is like this it's got a red outline then it means that a uh, fantasy grounds needs to update either the client uh, or a rule set that you own or some uh, DLC that you own uh, has changed since you last opened fantasy grounds and it requires some kind of uh, updating and you just click that button there and it will update uh, all the uh, things that need to be updated whether it's client rule sets or, or DLC uh, let's have a look at the settings button uh, when we uh, click the settings button here uh, we get to the uh, uh, the first page there's four tabs here basic account advanced and troubleshoot uh, the basic uh, one is where you uh, add in your license key your username and your password and where you would create an account if you haven't already uh, done so um, up above here, you can uh, set the FGU application UI scale using this slider. It defaults to 100, but if you're in a very big monitor, then you might want to scale it up a bit. And if you're in a uh, have difficulty reading the writing uh, or the the text or whatever, then you might want to scale it down a bit. So you can use this slider to uh, scale the UI up or down. Uh, in the account button, you've got two more buttons here, which you can link to uh, Steam or to Paizo. If you have purchased uh, anything through Steam, then you can click this link here and this will uh, tell you um, uh, or this will link your Steam account with the Smiteworks accounts so that your uh, Steam purchases are recognized when you update Fantasy Grounds uh, and they get downloaded properly. And this is a similar thing for uh, Paizo. If you've purchased uh, anything through Paizo uh, and your, uh, <coughs> your uh, oh, excuse me, if you're uh, uh, eligible for uh, a discount on the PDF from some of the uh, Paizo stuff, then this will link your account with Paizo and you'll be able to claim your uh, free PDF from Paizo or get a discount off the Fantasy Grounds module. Uh, in the advanced tab here, we've got uh, the application directory. This is where Fantasy Grounds itself is installed. This is the default location, uh, the C drive, program file, Smiteworks, Fantasy Grounds. So that's where the client and all the other gubbins goes. And then you can see here the data directory uh, is in a different directory and that's the same one as I showed you earlier that you can access from the button on the top left. Down here we've got a drop down menu uh, where you can uh, change the channels. As I say I'm in the test channel uh, at the moment. 99% um, of people will be in the live channel and that's really where you should be. You shouldn't really be in the test channel unless you're actually uh, using or using it to test the uh, next uh, beta uh, version of the software. You should never really be in the dev channel. So you should always be in the live channel in 99% of cases. There's another little folder here, which will also take you to your data directory. And then finally, we've got the troubleshoot button and these uh, will link you to various tools uh, which you can use if uh, there are some uh, issues uh, with fantasy grounds generally these are things which you'll be asked to do perhaps by a developer trying to troubleshoot the uh, things but you're free to use any of these themselves um, and they uh, they basically just do what they say uh, gather logs obviously gathers the logs force app update forces fantasy grounds to update itself uh, maybe it hasn't updated properly and the screen isn't showing that it needs an update but you can force it to update even if that isn't there clearing all your settings uh, you can show the setup screen again or you can uh, clear your vault should that uh, be uh, corrupted in some way or there's some problem with it or whatever you can actually clear that and then update fantasy grounds to renew it uh, the vault file is where all your uh, dlc is stored that you've uh, paid for it's an encrypted folder inside the uh, fg data folder um, so that's it for the uh, uh, update screen. We're just going to cancel that and then launch up 
launch fantasy grounds again and we get back to our start screen um now the this area here um it contains a variety of different buttons that you can click on and it will take you to basically what it says on the tin here so this will take you to the user manual basic guides etc do not, if you're new to Fancy Grounds, or even if you've used Fancy Grounds for a while, don't ignore uh, this uh, screen. Uh, it's, it contains vital information um, that uh, you should uh, know. You should give yourself a chance to read through some of this um, before you actually start using the software. It will give you some idea of what you're doing rather than just flailing around uh, trying to make things work. Um, because you think this is maybe why it should work. You read the user manuals, read some basic guides, watch some videos. Um, the basic guides or the user manual will take you to the wiki page and there's tons of links within the wiki page to more or less all of the same sort of things. So don't ignore uh, the user manuals. Uh, it, they contain a lot of very vital information. Um, you can also get to the forums or uh, the uh, Fantasy Grounds Discord here. We've also got some frequently asked questions and you can also contact support. And the release notes here will uh, show you uh, what the, uh, the client has updated. It won't show you the uh, updates or changes to any of your downloadable content, but it will show you the changes that have been made to the client itself. Uh, and there's also a button here that allows you to get to the Fantasy Ground store. Uh, okay, so I think that's probably enough for this introductory video. In the next one, we'll uh, have a look at creating a new campaign. Uh, thanks for watching.